Good morning ladies, welcome to Penny's Place. Penny's Place number two, I'm at the caravan. And um, I've just made a bit of a video and I got interrupted by the owner, Mark, who switched my electric off for 10 minutes. So uh, that's what's happening there. So if you hear voices in the background, it's the electrician outside here uh, doing something with the electrics. So isn't it early for me? Look, that's not half past nine yet and Penny's up and awake and in the morning. So, yesterday and a bit today, I've just been practicing my um, watercolour background and I managed to get one little picture done anyway. And I'm, I'm not very good at this uh, free motion like splurge it on watercolour, but uh, I always think it's got to be really outlined. But there we go, it's coming. But what I wanted to show you was yesterday I went to Morrison's in Bunbury. It's a lovely village, Bunbury, and uh, he picked me up. This, now we don't get it often because they're not cheap, these magazines. This is Papercraft Essentials, and it was eight ninety nine. Now, I know you're paying a lot for the freebies, what we call them, to, that you get, but this one was extra special, I thought, so I'm very pleased with it. It's called The Sweet Garden, okay? And inside, these are pumpkins and... Yeah, I'm not sure what that black fruit is. I think it's a fig of some kind. Yeah, and pears. So it's like an autumn type paper. Uh, they're not awfully big, these ones. I think they must be only a, uh, yeah, a six by six measurement, these. They're very, very pretty. I'm sure I've got use out of these. And a nice dotty one. And then slightly bigger ones, I presume these are 8 by 8 Yeah, 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 my, yeah, turn it around the right way. Yeah, 8 by 8 So it's slightly bigger. Nice blue one. Another one with the uh, figs. Lovely orange flowers. The green background one. Or whatever you want. I don't think they're double-sided. Oh, look, you've got a lovely green background as well. A wooden background on that one, that's nice. And tangerine on that. There's some lovely papers, as you can see. There's a few, actually, isn't there? It's not a like yellowy, a bit like what I'm doing with my background with watercolours, isn't it? I could take inspiration from these. And then inside was, yeah, that's two cards. They're not awfully thick cards, but they have been um, folded. But uh, I say they're not awfully thick, but they're nice. Uh, some card toppers. Enjoy, smile, bloom, relax, and celebrate. So they're nice. And they just pop out. And there's some more. I love this idea with the head and the flowers coming out. A little fountain. There's two of them. This one, more card toppers, but with writing on, surrounded by gold and, and flowers from the pack. That's a nice size one. You could have that just on its own, couldn't you? It'd be beautiful. So you can make a lot of cards. I might I might make a card while I'm here anyway, using this stuff. Because I've not actually bought like card material or uh, things like that. A garden is not a place, it's a journey. And life is better in the garden. Or in Arthur's case, at the fishing lake. <laughs> so, it's some more. I'm trying not to be too long because I say I'm expecting them electricity to come back. They don't hear them be talking, do they? And that was just a note. So that's quite nice as well. Aren't they beautiful? Another one. And this one I was pleased to get. Look, handmade with love. Yeah, that's all handmade with love. And I'm sure I saw another one that said handmade by me. But anyway, it's handmade by love. With love. Is there another? No, they're stickers. So they're a nice addition. You can put on the back of your card. Now this has got like um, ballon. I presume it's sticky back ballon by the look of it. 
So that's a different way. You could use uh, a peephole and cut out and put that on. Even stickers, look. Little square ones and envelopes. So, and another card. Is that a square like card? Yep. Two of them. Two square cards and envelopes. So there's nothing stopping you actually just picking that up and you can get two or three lovely cards out of it. In the paper craft book, 144 free tips and ideas to try tonight. Yeah. <laughs> so as usual with these are some lovely ideas. Some things you might not thought to do or you've forgotten that you can do. I like wonder where they do boxes as well because uh, I like making mini boxes. I like when they've used the freebies on that. So that will give you ideas how to lay it out. I'm not getting promoted money you know for doing this. That's another one. Nice to see a boys one, a sporting well, that could girls as well, isn't it? A fisherman. And there's a nice, uh, uh, what's it called? It says a garden shed, but it's not, is it? It's a, it's, it's a bird house, really. But it shows you how to make it. Now that's nice. Spring. The spring, she says, she'll might probably come again to find this book next year. I think, oh, I've not done anything out of that. Meet the maker. Well, lots of ideas, and we're still doing like the fall, although it is springtime. But they're like uh, autumn colours, aren't they? Acrylic panel stacks. Just gonna have a sip of my tea, ladies. It's beautiful here, it really is. Making the most of it because it said it's going colder and rainier next week. There we are. There's some nice book one uh, boxes, and they're quite nice to do, especially if you're doing a little, maybe a notebook or something. That can go in them. And Easter ones, of course. So aren't they sweet? They're not bad to sell them, are they? So. I just thought I'd show you, so if anybody's in Morrison's or another, um, where they sell magazines and that, you might want to look out for that. Because I think, I think it's quite pretty that. There was another one going, I can't remember the name of it, but it was giving away like, um, dyes with it. And I don't need any more dyes at the moment, but this is lovely. And as I say, to be able to just pick this pack up and be able to do two or three lovely cards. I mean, even my <laughs> even watercolour actually matches it, doesn't it? I could incorporate that, doesn't it? <laughs> so, electrician's back. So, I'm going to love you and leave you and thank you very much for watching and commenting. I do appreciate it very much. And stay safe. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.